Good morning dear students. Today we are going to learn about meter, the standard unit of length. Let us learn. So students, we have a table here. We will measure its length with hand spans and find out how many hand spans are equal to its length. Simran, come and measure its length with your hand. One, two and three. It means the length of this table is equal to three times Simran's hand span. Monica, now you come here. It's your turn to measure the length of this table with your hand span. And let us find out how long this table is. One, two, three and more than three. So, the length of this table is equal to Monica's more than three hand spans. Students, have you noticed the length of the table is same, but the length of your hand spans are different. So, we use different instruments to measure the accurate length of different objects. Students, when you go to the market with your mother to buy clothes, then shopkeeper uses meter rod to measure the length of the cloth and after measuring he cuts the cloth and give it to you. Students, tell me, does the tailor use meter rod to take your measurement? No ma'am, inch tape. Yes, the tailor uses inch tape. Now, see the numbers written in black on the inch tape. These numbers represent inches. In the similar way, the mason uses measuring tape and the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. represents inches. 1 is written after 11. This 1 means foot. It means 1 foot equals to 12 inches. I have a meter rod with me. A meter rod is divided into 100 equal parts. So, it means each part shows 1 centimeter. A meter rod has numbers starting from 10 up to 100 marked on it instead of 1, 2, 3 for our convenience. Students, now you know there are 100 centimeter in a meter rod. Let us learn. How to make a meter rod with the help of a wooden stick and a scale. First of all, with the help of this scale, we will mark 10 dots at the gap of 10 cm each on this rod. Students, you have to mark 10 dots on a straight line each at the gap of 10 cm. Then, after marking dots, we will write numbers starting from 10 up to 100 below these 10 marks. We will write numbers like this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So, our 100 cm rod is ready which is equal to 1 meter. So, dear students, now let us find out the length of this cloth with the help of this meter rod. We will start from the starting point and notice the another end of the cloth. Yes, it's 100 centimeter means 1 meter. Again, we will put the remaining cloth at the starting point and notice the another end. Yes, its length is 2 meter. Now, we will measure the remaining cloth. Again, its length is 50 centimeter. So, its total length is 2 meter and 50 centimeter. Now, 
we will measure the length of this rope with the help of meter rod. Let's see how long it is. We will start from the starting point. Yes, its length is 1 meter. Again, put the remaining rope at the starting point and notice the end point. Yes, its length is 2 meter. Now, students, it's time to solve pass related question. How many centimeters are there in cloth measuring rod? Option A 10 centimeter, option B 60 centimeter, option C 100 centimeter, and option D 1000 centimeter. Correct option is C 100 centimeter. Homework Find the length of these objects. 